Welcome everyone, in this video we're going to make a full automatic newsletter in N8N. Let's get started. Right here you see the full workflow. First I'm going to show you how this workflow works and how a possible newsletter will look like. So we first need to give some information about where the newsletter will be about. I'm going to Google Sheets and I'm going to give the information that we need to create the newsletter. So the topic will be crypto. The tone is how the AI needs to sound. So the tone will be professional. And the target audience is for who the newsletter is. So we just say young adults. Now we have given all the information that and needs and then we just run test workflow. And then it will get all the information out of the Google Sheet. Then it will start creating the content. So first it's gonna make the table of contents to make the layout of the article. Then it's gonna create each section and get further on the topics. Then it's gonna generate all the content. And instead of using ChatGPT or any other large language model, we use cloud because cloud is better at writing than ChatGPT. So it's gonna take each of the sections and then it will be combined in the content editor and then eventually a separate title will be made and everything will be sent to us. As we can see now, the workflow has been successfully been executed and now we're gonna see what it has made. Now we're in the Gmail and we can see the article that has been made. The title is Market Volatility and Innovations and Young Adults Guide to Crypto. So we see the word young adults and that is the target audience of our newsletter. Here we can see the text that it has made and as you can see there are a lot, are a lot of links to different articles in uh, the text and that is very useful because that is where the research is based upon and this is why we use certain tools in the workflow but I will get back to you on that. So here we just have a quick look on how an article or a newsletter could look like. Let's get started on how this workflow actually works and how you can make it for yourself. In the first section we see getting the information. I want a schedule trigger because I want to make this a fully automatic newsletter. You can, instead of linking it to Gmail at the end, you can link it to your newsletter provider and then it will just automatically post the newsletter every time. You just have to put all the subjects in Google Sheets. The first trigger, just the schedule trigger, then we go to the Google Sheets. For the Google Sheets, you need to have your credential connected. and. This is very easy. If you use the docs of NNN, it will be very easy to connect it with Google. Then you give, uh, it's just a sheet and then we want to get a row because we want to get a row of data. Then it's just documents and the sheet from that document. The loop is for if we have multiple uh, subjects and, or multiple rows in a Google Sheet, so that it will make it fully automatic. Then we get to the important part, that is creating the content. To get the quality of the article as high as it possibly can be, we use multiple AI agents that each have a different task to make the full article. We first start with the table of contents agent, and this will make the full outline of where the article will be about. And as you can see, we have used here the Tavly tool, and the Tavly tool is very important to make our articles as high quality as possible because the Tavly tool is more up to date than, let's say, OpenAI's models. With the Tavly tool, we'll also be able to add links in our article and link the resources where we get our information from. So I've created a separate workflow of the Tavly tool so I can use it in different scenarios. Here we have our inputs, so Tavly tool, and this is a research tool and then workflow list and that is the name of that workflow and here we have the topic input so let's go to the tavli tool workflow so right now i'm in the tavli tool workflow and here we have our input workflow input trigger this trigger will be get activated when it's called upon in the main workflow here i have just the input data as name and then the type is a string and then we have an HTTP request and this request will make a request to the Tefli tools for to make all the research and then it will send it back to us and then we get a response. And the response we will send back to the main agent. So this is the HTTP request. The method is a post and then the URL is api tefli.com slash search. The authentication is none and we will send the body. The body content type is a JSON type and this is our JSON. Right here we have the API key. I have just sent a secret key, but you can set your secret key right here that you made in Devly. Query is our input data that we get from the main workflow. And then the search that is basically, this is how deep our Devly tool will search on the web to get our information that we want. And then just some more information. If you don't have the Devly tool already, uh, there is a free plan of 1000 uh, credits that you can use and one API call, so one search is one credit. And right here you can make your API key. So you get to the overview and then you instantly 
can create your API key and then connect to your Init and Workflow. So that is a very easy connect. And finally, we have our response. And let's say our response. And this is just all the information that we got from the Tally tool. And this is what we're going to send to our main tool. So let's get back to our main workflow. Let's go into this tool agent and see how it works. Tools agent, because it will use the Devly tool. And the first part is uh, giving the information uh, that we have pulled from our Google Sheets. So we see here the newsletter topic is the topic and the tone and the target audience. So that's just here, that's our input. Here we have our system message and this is very important because here we can say how the AI agent should respond to our information. So first we have an overview. Your AI agent is responsible for planning the sections of a newsletter by creating an engaging table of contents tailored to the newsletter's topic, tone and target audience. Here we have the context and further instructions and the tools that the AI agent will use. And that is preferably the Tevli tool. So that was the table of contents AI agent. We now go to creating the sections itself. We have all the different parts of the text, but now we need to expand and get more information about the subjects. First, we need to connect with our OpenAI account. If you don't have an OpenAI account yet, it's very easy. You can just follow the docs with NNN and then you can set it up. Then we need a text resource and the message model. For now, I have just ChatGPT Mini because it works pretty good and it's not that expensive. Here we have the important part. This is the system message. Your job is to split out the table of contents into individual items for each section. Output each section separately in a field called newsletter sections. When doing so, keep in mind that the newsletter target audience is our target audience. And the tone of the newsletter should be the tone that we have set up in the Google Sheet. Then we give our data. So this AI agent will split apart the table of contents in sections for each subheader to then create the text. Then all the different sections go to the split out and then we're going to generate the content. So this is a very important step because here the actual newsletter will be written. If you can see here at the split out, each subheader has a title and a description about what the title means. So this is just the beginning and then it will be expanded on right here in this AI agent. Again, this is a tools agent and the text message is just our information that we had from the Google Sheet and the input from the split out. And then the system message. The system message here is very important because the better your instructions are, the better article will be written by this AI agent. So it's very important. First, we have an overview. Your AI agent is responsible for delivering only the final content for a newsletter section. Your role is to produce concise, well-researched and audience tailored content based solely on the provided input with no prefacing statements or explanation. What this is saying is that we only want the text for the section and nothing more. So no conclusion, no intro, just the text of the section. Then we have the context, all necessary details, including the section title, description, target audience, and tone will be provided. The goal is to create engaging content that aligns with the audience expectations and the newsletter objective. Content must be supported by research with sources clearly cited users hyperlink. As we saw in the example, this is where we get the links and this is from the Devly tool. And then instructions, just how the AI the agent is supposed to write, and then the tools, and then the citation guidelines. So this is how we get our good hyperlinks that cite correctly to the different sites. That is the generate content AI agent. With the generate content AI agent, you connect the cloud AI model. And why use the cloud AI model? Well, the cloud AI model is much better at writing human content than an open AI model. Your content will sound more natural, more like an actual human when you use this AI instead of a chat GPT O language model. Then we go to the merge node and here the uh, subheader will be connected to the actual text that has been made by the generate content agent. Then we aggregate all the different content into one item and then this will go to the content editor. So the content editor AI agent will get all the different subheaders and different sections and will make it one big text. Right here we get all the titles and then we get all the article sections. Then we go to the system message, the important part. First, we have the overview. You are an expert editor specializing in creating and refining content to output a high quality format article. You are given a list of titles and outputs and you will use these to create a newsletter tailored toward the defined target audience. Create a section in the article for each title with the hyperlink source in each section based on the content. First, create content for each title using the provided content. Each section should contain an inline citations, don't leave any out. 
improve the flow of the newsletter and format it for readability. Okay, and then we have uh, a couple more steps to improve how the article will be written. Uh, finally, we give today's data. This is very important because an AI agent doesn't know which day it is if you don't have this line right here. And finally, we go to the title make. So we have a separate AI agent for making a title because this will improve how good your title is. And as you have known in newsletters and in any article, a title is very important because if you don't have a good title, your article won't be read. So you can have the best article in the world, but if you have a bad title, it does not matter. So it's important to get the best title that we can get. In here, we send the data with our tone, the target audience, and the output of the newsletter itself. And then we have just a quick message. I'll put the title in plain text, no quotation marks, and capitalize the first letter of each word. Example, and then we give an example. So examples are very important for AI agent prompting because the AI agent will know how the results will look like. And finally, we send everything to our Gmail. So I have chosen to send it to Gmail because that is very convenient for this video, but you can connect it to your newsletter tool and let it automatically upload to that tool and send it out to all your email list subscribers. This is the full automatic newsletter tool. I hope you found this workflow very useful. If you found it useful, leave a like, and then I will see you next video. Thank you.